Belle Isle. It lies between Canada and Detroit in the Detroit River. It's known for its many beautiful sightseeing sites and its Belle Isle Observatory as well as its aquarium. But something that's been long forgotten and left unnoticed lies at the heart of the island, the Belle Isle Zoo. The Belle Isle Zoo originally opened in 1895. The zoo opened with a bear and deer park, but over the years it gained more and more animals until by 1909 it had over 150. Later on in 1947 it became a children's zoo. Then in 1980 the zoo was overhauled and given a new design that would allow guests to be able to walk on raised wooden walkways. Sadly, in 2002, the mayor of Detroit would shut down the zoo in order to save $700,000. And from then on, from that very moment, the zoo was forgotten. Now all that remains are ruins of empty exits and entrances that used to be filled with guests coming in to view the zoo. Hey guys, it's Randy Puff here. Uh, today I decided that I was going to head out to Detroit and head over to Belle Isle. And for those who don't know what Belle Isle is, it's an island in between Detroit and Canada. It's in the river. It's a little tiny island. And there was once, famously, a Detroit Zoo that was here that was later converted into a children's zoo, then turned back into a normal zoo and eventually it shut down due to funding issues in Detroit. And today, I'll be just <laughs> exploring the area. Uh, of course, first I'll have to find a way to get in. So I'll keep you guys posted. Well, it actually appears like I'm gonna have to jump over this fence, which happens to have some scary wiring. I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, I have jumped over the fence, and now I'm officially in the Belle Isle Zoo. So, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you visit this place, you won't find it in its original condition, but rather with the walls full of graffiti and empty beer bottles and smashed glass. Alright, so I made it in, I had to climb over the fence, then I had to climb up a ladder in order to get onto this walkway over here. But, I'm hearing some noises here and there, mostly a little squirrels running around, but you kind of get that slight adrenaline rush, just because you never know when there might be like a little squatter around here. And you gotta be careful where you step because you never know if you might happen to fall through the boards. But aside from that, it's a pretty amazing view. You gotta watch where I'm going over here. 
seen too many movies where they think they're they're all good, and then they end up falling through. Now, for those who don't recognize the spot, it actually made a very big appearance in a film featuring Hugh Jackman called Real Steel. Aside from that brief appearance within Real Steel, the zoo hasn't acquired many guests, except for those who seek an adventure. As he began to walk throughout this place, he began to imagine what it was like having thousands of people looking, observing, and loving the animals that they see before them. The whole place begins to feel like a distant memory, a place that used to be full of happiness. I'm like 70% sure that there's someone here or at least a group of people because they keep hearing I guess teenagers laughing in the distance and they feel like they're I, I, it sounds like they're really close so if I end up running into someone I'll make sure they say hi to you guys oh yeah there's most definitely people here I apologize for the wind not like I can really control it but I can most definitely hear people like really close by so either they're on the Belle Isle Trail, or they're actually hopping the same exact fence that I hopped right over there and my, made my way through here. It's kind of creepy. Over here is where they used to display the different animals that they had. And over to my left side, we had the same exact thing. Unfortunately, the sad part about the zoo is the fact that soon enough, nature will take over and they'll no longer be able to be visited by guests or people who seek to find it. As you walk through the walkways and walk throughout the buildings, you can see that the weeds are slowly peering through the cracks and slowly making their way over the walkways. So over here we have the concession stand where people would walk up, ask for a drink, some food. And right alongside that, we have what appears to be an area where you could get different things such as stuffed animals, possibly souvenirs, t-shirts here and there. Obviously nothing remains.
thing that I can say about this place is the fact that when you get here and you're walking around, you're able to kind of reflect and take a moment to kind of realize that your normal everyday life is so filled with noise and talking to people, keeping up with social media, and then you get here and you realize that everything's just peaceful. Abandoned, but peaceful. And you just kind of take in the moment, take in the view and all the empty spaces and everything else. It kind of makes you feel grateful almost for what you have. There's some people over there trying to like get in. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> They're not gonna get in. Well now I'm trying to currently get out of uh, the zoo because I, I pretty much finished what I had to do but now there's like two people trying to get in through here. I don't know if they're like trying to check me out or I don't see them by the entrance anymore. They might be leaving. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's pretty much it for today. I've seen the cage. I've seen the place where they filmed Real Steel. I've seen the concession stand. I've seen the bathrooms. I've seen the souvenir stand. I've seen pretty much everything. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. But overall, it was a very fun trip. It's very nice to see old history kind of frozen in time. Uh, with an addition to having graffiti all over the place. But aside from that, you're able to see kind of what the place used to look like. And you can sort of start to imagine what it was like not too long ago when this place was packed with people and had people from all over Detroit and Michigan come here to go look at the amazing animals that they had here. And it's almost kind of sad to see where this place kind of was, where, it, where it's been and just kind of see where it ended up like this kind of as a dump and a hot spot for teenagers to kind of just destroy everything but if you're looking for something to do I most definitely recommend coming out here I had a lot of fun lots to see I would most re I would recommend coming with friends because it is kind of scary walking around by yourself you never know when there might be some random homeless man up in the bathroom possibly taking some heroin or cocaine I don't know but anyways I think that's pretty much it for today so thank you for joining thank you for watching if you guys haven't already subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys later see you